So I hope you guys enjoyed my previous video in regards to unboxing of this robotic kit and assembly of the self-balancing robot. So we're going to get on with the more sportier version of it. So here it goes. So this time it seems to be a bit more complicated than the self-balancing robot, especially on the wheel side and the connector is quite important for this case. Now the thing you got to bear in mind is that these wheels are left and right. The way how it rotates the direction is different okay to be able to distinguish this you got this triangular and a square so make sure you check that out on the instruction now these are the connectors for the left and the right okay so you can see that there's a square and a triangular shape so you won't get confused but it took me a while because it looks very similar to the motor component if you see what i mean these are the motors and the symbols are different but just to bear in mind it's the same color of orange, but the symbol implies that these are the connectors and this is the motor. See how cool this robot is with this camera at the front with all these magnum wheels. Now there were a few tricky bits that I wanted to forewarn you that the square needs to be at the front and the triangle at the back on this end and the triangle at the front and a square at the back. Okay. Also fitting in the uh, magnum wheels on these uh, motors were quite tricky as well. And then you have to lock it, uh, which took me a while, but I managed to sort that out. And one of the most painful side was that these cable, USB-C cable joining into the actual motor itself was really tricky. Actually, a lot of effort for me to put those in. But in the end, we managed to build it and we got this gorgeous robot here. Oh, by the way, have you actually wondered why there's a dent mark here? Not only is it actually easily recognizable which side you're actually facing because it, this side is flat and this one isn't, but it also allows for you to charge the actual battery itself while it's assembled. So that's a pretty good tip, isn't it? Okay, so the moment of truth, let's actually press the power on. And you can see the battery level going up to four, which is full. And on the screen itself, we got, you got. There are a few cool things here. For example, if these wires are not properly connected, it will actually let you know. And if you do not disassemble it, it will automatically recognize that it is the last robot that you assemble when you restart the whole thing. So you can see the smiley face coming out. So it has a sort of, AI, but also a comic uh, side of it because it's kind of cute. It actually reacts with the facial expression. It's not like with those regular sort of RC uh, cars that you actually control by your smartphone or your controller. This actually moves with the response coming from the AI brain side of you got. So again, you can actually interact with this uh, robot face um, by actually, you know, <laughs> it's like, responding to your touch isn't it so um, it moves and so on so when it laughs it actually shakes as well so it's similar to the self-balancing robot those personality are applied to this uh, racing robot as well all right so we got driver uh, so if we were to go into the mode you can see that it's uh, controlled as well so the screen itself shows that it's actually running for some reason because it's on the driver mode that you go oh front i almost dropped it from the table got to be careful it hasn't got a sensor drop sensor and so you could go back and forward and so on i'm just carefully pressing it same as the self-balancing robot we got the making a phone call video um, take a photo and ai as well and if we were to come out of it uh, the lab side is pretty much the same as what we saw on my previous video and album and etc. So again, if you go to the program list, um, unfortunately there isn't any program set up, but hopefully through the updates or download from the community side, uh, you'll be able to get something out of it to make it more AI based 
And if you actually go to the settings as well, I presume that's the same as previous as well. So let's actually try out the maneuver capability, shall we? So here it goes. Whoa, look at that. That's very cool, actually. So you could do that and this, and then you can actually spin it around. <laughs> look at that. That's how cool it is. Look at the screen, very dizzy. So I could imagine that you can actually have fun with your friends if you have another friend that owns a you got robot and um, race yourself and record the video clip as well. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? So another cool feature I would like to highlight which I haven't showed to you yesterday is that if you press the phone, you can hear the mic sound coming from the actual unit sorry about the echo there's very little i could do right now but um you can actually say race is about to begin <laughs> that's cool isn't it and you can actually move go forward backwards and have a lot of fun with it so if you come out of the um, remote control mode connected to your um, app uh, it will actually automatically restore to the AI mode, the robot interactive mode, which is very cute. So you can actually tick a little bit and, um, and so on. It actually reacts to your uh, touching and so on. But again, like what, what I said for my previous video, it's a bit of a shame that the camera is on the front uh, bottom while the screen is actually on the top. I'm sure there, there is a reason behind it, but um, that's, the way I actually prefer it. I mean, maybe I can actually take out the camera here and then change it so that it could actually face me some sort of like a frame. That would be quite cool. But I guess that will come along to the other robots that I'm going to review later on. Um, but yeah, this whole interaction robot. Again, I wish it can talk, have the chat GPT integration. I'm pretty sure updates will come along where we'll be able to use that function, which I'll be very happy to share with you guys. So that's pretty much it, everyone. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. See you on the next video. All the best. Bye-bye.